Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I'm going to show you Quake on the Vision 5.2 RISC V single board computer. And perhaps you have seen the video from Lander where she was playing Quake on the Vision 5.2. And I guess lucky for her, she is very close to the headquarters of star five and i guess they helped her with setting up quake on the vision five too so uh also in the comments on one of my posts on youtube someone asked if i was able to run vulcan quake um i did manage to install it uh, and it also meant that I had to compile a newer version of libsdl2. But yeah, for me, it was really, really slow. It was almost like a, a slideshow. So it wasn't really playable. And so I started to look around um, for some other options. And well, I managed to compile tear quake and it also is playing okay. It's not fast, but it's okay. So I'm on the Debian image 69, um, logged in as user. And well, you can clone his um, GitHub or Git uh, repository. But it also meant that I noticed that Git is not installed by default and Make isn't installed by default. So um, yeah, you better install those first. And when I had um, downloaded the source code, the compilation also uh, errored out and then I think it's probably a good idea just to install also these packages. And I think that um, since Tear Vulkan, oh, sorry, Tear Quake isn't using Vulkan, then you don't need lib Vulkan dev. But on the other hand, it doesn't hurt to install it. So let's just say you want to install all this. And I will also put this command in the description of the video. So you also need git and make. So in this case, it will tell you, oh, Oh, <laughs> um, I have to put that after the install. Ah, so there's git and then also make. And then it will tell you that everything is already there because I already installed it. So you can just um, download the source code with this command and then you will get a directory tier quick. And then all you have to do is just type make and then it will compile. I already did that and um, yeah, it, it takes a while. So um, just take a cup of coffee, something like that. But then you only have the engine, the game engine. You don't have the game files. Now I've seen uh, some posts 
on the internet that say that if you download FreeQuake uh, and you can install it on a Windows machine, then you can uh, get access to all the game files. But since it's, this is just a demo, um, you can find the shareware version uh, on the Internet Archive. And here it says two files, but you only need this one. You only need to download this one. And, oh, yeah, that's something I also almost forgot. Um, yeah, I used uh, unzip, but you need to install it. So, as you can see, I already installed it. So, what I did was that... Once the file is downloaded and you have compiled Tearquake, then you can copy this file and go to the Tearquake directory, go into bin, and I copied that file here, as you can see. And then you can just type unzip and that should do the trick. But since I already unzipped it, uh, I don't need to do this. So when you're in the bin directory, you have access to the different versions. So I also tried uh, the GL Quake, but unfortunately that doesn't work for me. So, but um, luckily, tear quake does work. And uh, let's see. go into the options uh, I set the brightness really high because it was really dark by default um, you can use the mouse to look around instead of moving and you can activate the mouse Well, it's, it's not really fast, but it's playable. Uh, it's probably not a good idea to play this in full screen uh, unless we get updated graphics drivers. But I guess for now, um, yeah, if you really want to play Quake, it is possible. 
hopefully in the future we can get uh, Vulcan Quake working uh, with a good uh, frame rate. And it's a good thing to see that um, a, a lot of open source stuff out there uh, that you can compile it on Risk Five, and yeah, we still need to work on the drivers, but uh, it looks like we can have a lot of fun with this Risk Five single board computer. So that's all for now, and I hope to see you again in my next video.